Good evening, friends. As we begin our Wednesday evening prayer service, we'll be following on page 164 in the LBW, the responsive prayer two, option two. Holy God, immortal, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us and hear us. May we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And may we share together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe all your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this and the nation's this nation and the nations of the world under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Lord be with each of you. Now we have an opportunity to meditate on the word of the Lord. Please join with me as I share from Luke's gospel just a few short verses, beginning with Luke chapter 4, verse 42. At daybreak, Jesus went out to a solitary place. The people were looking for him, and when they came to where he was, they tried to keep him from leaving them. But he said, I must preach the, the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also, because that is why I was sent. And he kept on preaching in the synagogues of Judea. That is our scripture reading. Our meditation will be as follows. Jesus customarily went to a place of solitude where he could commune with God, his heavenly Father, our Father. And the people, because of all the miracles that had been done just in the verses preceding that, Simon Peter's mother was healed, people were delivered, they were declaring him to be the Son of God, crying out. He went to a solitary place. I'm learning that that's a great thing. Many of us probably entered our Doctor of Ministry program thinking, well, we'll learn some new things to teach the parish. And I'm sure that that has been the case. But the most important thing for me personally, and I think my classmates would echo this, is that we are being transformed into that which the Lord intends for us so that moving from dry places we might move into a solitary place where we might know the fuller presence of the Lord and then and only then be able to share some insights with God's people. And I encourage you to do that as well. But he said, I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God. He would not let the crowds restrain him from leaving. May we spend a moment in reflection.
maybe the Lord has spoken to you as we shared that reading and then meditated. And may we move tonight into contemplating the greatness of our God. Please pray with me. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, through Christ Jesus, your dear Son, that you have this day so graciously protected us. We beg you to forgive us all our sins and the wrong which we have done. By your great mercy, defend us each from all the perils and dangers of this night. And into your hands we commend our bodies and our souls and our spirit and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge over us this evening, that the wicked one will have no sway over us. And as many of us find ourselves traveling to procure food, to as well bring hope and comfort to others, may we pray, Lord God, our Father, you kept Abraham and Sarah in safety throughout the days of their pilgrimage, you led the children of Israel through the midst of the sea, and by a star you led wise men to the infant Jesus. Protect and guide us now in this time as we set out to travel, following your hand. Make our way safe and our homecomings joyful, and bring us at last to our heavenly home where you dwell in glory with your Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may the Lord bless us, defend us from all harm, all evil, bringing us into the, those safe pastures that the Lord intends now and forevermore. Amen and amen until we are together next time. God's peace.